Oh no, we're starting for real this time. I hit the start button. Let's get into it. This is oh, how I'm ambushing yeah. you. We're talking about lichens. You're now assaulted by lichens in Lichen. the forest. Ooh, what are you going to do? Okay. Uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, I, I fight him. I, I, I get all <laughs> <to death>. I, <laughs> Run me through what you mean by lichen. Is that based on the word for wolf? Because like Therianthropes, lycanthropes. Like yeah, like, lycanthropes in general. Even though like yeah. everyone thinks werewolves when you think of that. Yeah, well, because lycanthrope is, lycanthrope is yeah. yeah is werewolf. <laughs> Therianthrope is uh, all manner of creatures combined real? with a person. Yeah. Uh, Wait, isn't that in D and D? They're all considered lycanthropes, where Gaston D &D, yeah, they, they, they fucked one. up. D &D, mm -hmm. So D and D wise, because D and D is a funny game where a lot of the people that worked on it didn't know shit. Uh, they they uh, what? No. They yeah yeah. <laughs> so for like lycanthropes, they use that term for all of them, uh, but lycanthrope in actual mythology is yep. just basically like just wolves. Lycan. The, the word lichen is based in something about wolves. But, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're wait. We're ambushed. Do you want to play a scene or just like how we would handle it generally? That was more being off the cuff, honestly. Like I just want to know, like how do you usually run them? Because I feel like that's one of the races we're getting oh. the most bare bones with in general. Okay. Yeah. Well, because it's it's a, a sickness. It's not exactly a, a race or anything. It's it's an no, ailment that turns people into uh, what they want to be, what the curse wants them to be. It's kind of a complicated. Mm -hmm concept that it, it, there's a lot to play with it oh yeah like, yeah yeah i do like that that it left it open but i feel like there should have been some more options with it because like it, uh because you just have the base template then it's like all right if your guy contracts this they become this and they might get weaker or stronger question mark yeah uh, yeah yeah that is that is a thing <laughs> yeah an open-ended thing they're like, we don't want to tell you how to run the game that we uh, made for you, <laughs> yeah. which I fall into too. But yeah, it, it's like it, there is a fun with it, but there's also I, I think there is a point as you go because early on in D and D or like DMing, it is a very fun thing to have it be very open, and then later on, it's just like either I feel like you fall into like some kind of slot of. It's like, okay, uh, I'm going to fuck with stuff, and I feel comfortable with fucking with stuff, and there's other times where it's just like, oh my god, there's like fucking nothing on this, and I have no good ideas for yeah. this, so I, yeah. I wish there was more shit. <laughs> yeah, because the whole thing just seems weird to me, especially when you factor in the fact that what is where at's that are level one, but they're immune to half the stuff a level one party would have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Challenge ratings are funny. Yeah, they're, they're it's, little... it's fun that they did expand into different types of uh where people i think is it no it's centaurs that's backwards where it's like horse oh. man and people oh, yeah, are yeah. like this tar that tar but uh, uh, um <laughs> can't make a joke <laughs> <laughs> speaking of those um what is that the canon where okay. it's actually if you're a rat you're a rat tar <laughs> A rat tar. A rat tar. <laughs> Why does it go off so southern? I'm a rat tar. I was bitten by a radioactive rat when I was down in the sewers one day. I'm half rat and half me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You know, I, I was going to say, uh, thinking about like on the level one CR, um, this is a question that I've had with some people before on running a werewolf or like whatever, what have you. Uh, on their resistances or like their immunities do you think a werewolf can die from falling damage <laughs> okay yeah I, because i would say yes yeah, yeah <laughs> and i because that's that's like because i've heard people go like oh well it's it has to be magical or something like that and it's like no fuck that like if you're falling from the strata like dude if a werewolf's yeah. going in on fucking like fucking you, you i don't know like a red dragon just flew up and just like fucking threw his ass to the earth that he, that, that dude's okay. dead <laughs> no, but th there's the question of like do they have the ability that frogs have where their like maximum oh, yeah. velocity <laughs> is not enough to kill them on impact is that what it is yeah. it's just that, 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 yeah, yeah, they just like, spread their arms out and they're fine <laughs> maybe that's where a were rat would Bounce fucking up. survive because as a were rat yeah they're converted to a rat and they're just like they're not smaller <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hang on. Would that mess up their velocity, though, where they're just, like, coming down like a bullet? They're like, oh, wait, and they just shrink down to where <laughs> small little creatures... Like like yeah, because they can turn into a rat, so they would. Yeah, yeah. they could turn into a whole-ass rat, or it's just like a... As long as they, they fucking, don't. 
per D and D rules, instantaneously fall five hundred feet and die. Because <laughs> like six seconds, motherfuckers fall far. Oh yeah, yeah. If yeah, you look at the actual, like their math is not too far off. But the idea is, once you fall, you instantly hit the ground. Like no hesitation. Okay, because I like the idea of someone turning into a rat as they're falling, being like, "Oh," and they fall. I, I feel like I could rule that in that sense of like, oh, well, the idea of like terminal velocity. Maybe maybe you're small mm -hmm. enough that terminal. it stops affecting you. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like a frog. Yeah, because I was thinking squirrel <laughs> logic, where squirrels got like what is it lighter bones or something like that, to where like the impact for them is less. Am I misremembering that? Uh. I think I know you're. I think you're drawing from a couple things, unless I'm mistaken. I know birds have hollow bones, mm -hmm. which allows them to fly up, and then squirrels they have skin flaps that allows them to create an air current below them, or like trap an air current and fall. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. That, that's more flying flying squirrels than anything. Yeah, that's kind of a thought process I was having. Which a wire flying squirrel would be absolutely terrifying if you just see one of them flying yeah. at you in the middle of the night. Well, that'd be kind of awesome for like the like, full on size <laughs> yeah, one they're... because it's like I'm picturing like the wear of flying squirrel where it's just like straight up a dude with like skin a hybrid form. It's fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jared from That's Subway a... can do that actually. That's how he <laughs> tried to escape prison the first time. He just grabbed his flag. That's and... when, they, when they caught on to him. He jumped out the window and he goes, You'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> no, just. <laughs> Is that how he lost all the weight, really, is just, like, him just flying to Subway? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> it's, it's like, it was his exercise routine. He started bouncing, and he went to walking, and then he went to flying. <laughs> yeah, he just, he lived in, like, an average apartment building in New York, and it's just like, well, time to get lunch. And he just, like, opens the window, just releases the flaps, and just flies to Subway. <laughs> The horrifying. poor employees making minimum wage just see this looming shadow coming to him. Just, oh, no. I did want to bring the question to the table, then. What would be the... Definitely uh, segueing. <laughs> what would be the worst wear creature to get bit by? Like, whether or not oh. you kill it, whether or not you fight it, it's like, oh, my God, I'm going to become one of those. I, for some reason, I, Armadillo came to mind just because you'd have leprosy on top of being a monster. <laughs> You need to explain. What are you talking about? Armadillo oh, leprosy? Oh, yes, because you can get yeah, leprosy. Armadillo, uh, some variants have leprosy. I think it's rare for them, but yeah. Red variants of armadillos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did I say red variant? Uh, I, I think rare armadillos variant. also... Armadillos were like... Hang on, I gotta Google that animal now. that were... Like, they, they... I don't know why I hear about this, but it's like armadillos also get like... They, they have like... They're susceptible to some human diseases and shit, I think. Mm. Like, I, I remember armadillos got like COVID, I think. Yeah, armadillos yeah, actually, are the only other animal besides humans to host leprosy, baculus. Oh, just a, a type of strain of leprosy. It's funny because they're a ball-up animal. Yeah. And one of the animals, I fucking love these things, but got targeted and was uh, poached because of COVID. They're like, this motherfucker's to blame, are pangolins. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what it was. That's, little guys, I, I mean, yeah. that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Penguins are cool, uh, though. That, that sucks. sucks. I, I, really I remember like you had the one in Stibbles. The yeah, the, the pangol. Yeah. Uh, let me They're just, really cool looking. Let me try to blind open up to the page here. Hey. Miss. All right. Not sponsored, by the way, by Ghostfire. <laughs> sponsored by me. <laughs> oh, no, you hijacked the podcast. God dang it. Small <laughs> this was the ploy the whole time. <laughs> Jeez. I'm trying to think of one that just an animal I'd hate to be because yeah, whatever. Yeah, oh, that's it. Because <laughs> cool. Because oh, most animals I hate, I consider it, are more insects than animals. Yeah, because like an opossum, uh, that would give you a lot of defenses against mm -hmm. parasites and stuff. What a, a where like mayfly maybe? Because then you're just doomed, right? The only like, you know, let me Google what that is. The other mayflies factor... when oh, they ahead. when they evolve into their final stage, their mouths disappear and they just starve to death. Oh, God, that's sad. Um, um, yeah, I just I'm a rare insect of some sort. Okay. I'm thinking yeah. of just like very unfortunate animals like koalas with their disease and oh god, yeah, koala takes <laughs> the fucking cake. If I was a rare koala, I would. <laughs> 
I would try to fall from a tree. I don't know. <laughs> some of them, that just... some of them could be kind of cool if I think about it. Because I think the only downside to being a lycanthrope is uh, there are times where you like in yeah. The hang on. What if you get the koala brain as well, Mario? That's that's a very oh bad. yeah. My, you my are smooth. brain just gets smoother. Like as a human, it's like fucking. It, it just now it's making me think of like devil fruits or some shit. Where it's just like, <laughs> but there's yeah. like a. Ones. It, it's it's like a there's a point with it where it's like in some of the lore you start to take some minor appearance appearance changes from being a lycanthrope where it's like yeah, oh wear boar get, get like kind of like piggish kind of features to them though the, their ears might point up a bit more they hmm. might have like fur on them um so it's like thinking them. about like what if you were like an insect kind of lycanthrope do you start getting like weird like your eyes would get like super glossy and your skin your would get kind of hard like you get jitters you fucking uh... <laughs> there's a whole movie about a guy who turns into a werefly wait yeah yeah the <laughs> <movie>? fly <laughs> it's good you, you'll never guess the name well, um... <laughs> i don't know i'm also thinking of the now the implications of that of like does it have to be a, a mammal to tar- be a were beast because i feel like all were beasts yeah. are mammals i don't think it has to like due to D D. I... It's also book, like, though. So. Oh no! Oh, right. yeah. Oh no! Um, I was gonna say like, due to due to D and D being what it is, you, you could make it whatever. Yeah, I could do whatever oh, yeah. the fuck I wanted. To. <laughs> no, and you listen, D and D doesn't even follow the rules. It uses the wrong word for the yeah. fucking lycanthrope, so it's just like... <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're Which, right, and I mean, can, I mean, we're all using like, it wrong to some degree, especially if any of us use alpha werewolves. That one guy that made that studies rolling in his grave, <laughs> screaming oh at me. Oh God, yeah. It's like no. <laughs> if you're going across the whole gene pool, what if some guy like walked up to you in a JoJo situation and said, "I have the power of a were blueberry bush." What? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and what now you do you? too, and he bites you. <laughs> Just as blueberry bushes are known to do. They bite. <laughs> I, you're like, no, what does this mean? And he's like, I don't even know like- myself. I'm just imagining I'm just getting infested with uh, uh, insects that are eating the blueberries now. It's like, oh, god dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh it's like bullet seed he just starts firing blueberries out of his mouth he just <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, oh! <laughs> like battery bites you and you get the health benefits of blueberries like how are you going to live longer now it's like no oh, he gives you the no! he lets you sprout good berries from you <laughs> like, kind of he like awesome. pays a delivery guy 12 bucks to drive him to your house and be like here's a blueberry plant and then in the middle of the night he's like i'm not a blueberry plant <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to kill. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I'm just imagining like a twist on uh, druids where like they just like start reaching the point where they become part plant over time, and that's what you're dealing with. Mm. Just become swamp be cool. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, basically swamp thing. Uh, but yeah, no, that's the thing I was thinking of. I feel like there's a lot you could do with lichens, but at the same time, it's just kind of left to open to like, all right. You just basically gave me something. All right, have fun with it. I'm like, but can you give me some examples to go on? It's like, no. And just keep on. There is just like, there's it, mm-hmm. the one suggestion is um, do you embrace it or do you reject it? And if you embrace it, then you get fully empowered, which is true for any ability that someone has. Mm-hmm. And if you're like, no, that's not me, then it starts to take you over. Hmm. Yeah. Which is why uh, werewolves who embrace their lycanthropy, they will benefit from that transformative ability whenever they want but if you reject it you d- never want to turn into an actual full werewolf and go on a slaughter but yeah. the full moon is the thing that sparks it you're like i don't want this and the full moon is like i do fuck you <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah that can like, always uh, make for really fun stories i do like that when you get yeah them. just the problem is i feel like for low level parties they're stuck in an uncanny valley to where they could be too broken for a party if you go by base rules where they're immune to anything non-silvered and the only mm. solution to defeat a creature that level is have the barbarian just uh, grapple him and give him pink belly while the um, <laughs> um, <laughs> like i don't know, I don't know he fucking starts is. slapping him oh, <laughs> <laughs> he like folds him over and he's just like slapping his belly he's like oh, pink belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, because that was that was actually one of the points I was wanting to make, where I was wondering what the limits of that is. If like obviously a barbarian slashing him with a giant axe isn't doing anything, 
But yeah. like, what if you just like beat him to where your organs are just like actually rupturing? That's what I'm wondering. Like, what's the line there? Because it kind of came I, to what you were saying when they're immune to fall damage or not. So some people consider fall damage bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. This is, is something that I have thought on because uh, I've been throwing lycanthropes at my party um, recently, and uh, the they issue is yeah, they can't dodge them. Yeah, I've been like literally throwing them; mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they've been launched. But like the <laughs> One uh, big the idea is just throwing them like a catapult. <laughs> the idea that I've had has been less of um, because at the point when they started showing up, it started becoming less of just like. Well, what's the point? Because the players already had they they had gotten some some weapons that were like imbued with silver, and they hadn't really encountered anything that had silver yet. So it's just this thing where it's or that needed like the silver thing yet. So it's just this thing where well, well they can already damage lycanthropes. What do I do about that? So my decision on that was really thinking on it, where it's like part of me likes the idea that you literally need silver to kill this thing. Yeah. So, what I would do is, Silver can ignore that, like, damage resist. But, what they do if they're not attacked by, like, uh, Silver is they start regenerating. So oh. it's like, oh, they get, like, fireballed all of a sudden or something Oh, like, like Wolverine? That. They just yeah, like, start like it's coming just like, back. Okay, like, these I things like are that. All fucked I really like up. That. They're like all sins, but it's just like they start to like grow back. I think I got the idea from some fucking movie. Uh, I forget what the hell it was called. It was like Monster Something. Yeah. Um, but there's okay. like a point where they're fighting like a wolf man, and the kids are just like, "Oh, the only way to kill kill the wolf man is through like a silver bullet." And they're like, "Well, what if you hit him with a car <laughs> or something yeah. like that?" And uh, there's a oh, point yeah. where the you wolf got that man from Alvin and Chipmunks meet the werewolf, right? No, no, I was no, thinking it was of a... Wallace and Gromit the Were Rabbit. Oh, it was something, classic! It was fucking something else. It was like called like Monster Monster something. Um, Monster but, High. No, it was like uh, <laughs> it was Mon Masu. Kids fight monsters. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but it mechanically, it does sound a lot like um, what's that called? Um, uh, Undead Fortitude, and I like that as a mechanic. Mm. So that actually is a pretty cool idea, especially adding regeneration on top of it. Yeah, the monster squad. Oh shit! Monster oh, squad. Think, uh, there's a point with the the fucking werewolf, like he explodes or something, and they were like saying like, "Oh fuck the the werewolf!" Like, oh look, there's another way you could kill the werewolf. And basically, what happens is the werewolf literally just regenerates in the spot where he fucking like exploded. Like his limbs Cheating. just fly back, <laughs> and he starts coming back, and they're like, "Dude, what the fuck?" It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I like that. Yeah, because. <laughs> yeah, because I messed around a little bit with giving silver more benefits. Because honestly, I think the fact that silvering a weapon only just basically cuts the non-magical resistance is kind of boring. When mm. a plus one, yeah. it has the same effect as just a plus one weapon, mm. just with less damage. So <laughs> something I messed around with is making it to where all um, now say feel wrong when say lycanthropes, but any. The ropey little fella, if he uh, gets hit by silver, he actually takes an additional damage die from that weapon. Yeah. Okay, you're thinking in core mechanics. I'd yeah. like it if it was like uh, Hamon from JoJo, where mm -hmm. like they recover from everything. You know, you can't beat them, so they become this real horror thing where it's not the physical body or the muscles or the bones that are hunting you. It's the soul. It's the intention of this yeah. creature. I like it. And that's what like puts them back together. So if you have like silver and you cut them and nick them, that nullifies their spirit. It like severs whatever you're cutting from their control or the control of that curse. Okay, I like. I Which like that. still you'd have like if you decapitate a werewolf with a silver dagger, that begs the question because it doesn't need the body's functions. Is it just like uh -huh. Dio, just a little head sitting there? That's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> like, like the like the wolf head Yo, in. Uh, Give me your and, body. Uh, The, the wolf head in the Ghibli movie that like races through and like bites a guy's leg off or something. Oh, yeah. Nos Princess Mononoke. No, no not Nos no. Was Mononoke. Mononoke, Mononoke, thank you. Yeah, it was yeah, Mononoke. Because it's like, the they one get, I've like seen. the spouting bullshit coming out of them. And yeah. yeah. That that movie had such crazy visuals. I really liked it. Mm. I love the visuals from them. So, awesome. so beautiful. Like that possessed boar was wild at the beginning of the movie. I think I got that was one of those. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It had like leeches in it. I can't remember fully. I watched it when I was a kid and just like, yeah. ooh, a cartoon. Ah! And then he shoots a guy's oh! arms off with an arrow. 
Yeah. Dude, that, that would and, like, the was following sick. scene, too. Yeah. But dude, it's like a demonic fucking arm or some shit. And he fucking it's sick. It. Yeah. yeah it's, like, it's super... He's, like, cutting people's arrows out of the air and shit. He's, like, fucking firing back, and he's, like, decapitating people. And that's kind of what lycanthropy could be, because that yes. was a physical that's curse. It was this to... malignant, twisted version of a forest spirit <laughs> that was plaguing people. Okay. Yes. And it's, like, so it, it's kind of interesting to think about, like, what's the actual root of lycanthropy? Mm -hmm. you, you could be, like, is there this, like, vampires, is there the original lycanthrope? Like the the core guy and his spirit just presides over all of them, or how would you guys do there that? Is. That's kind I, of I, how I'm doing it in my setting, where there was a progenitor who was just like um, an animal that just became so powerful he kind of um, just oh. like it was yeah. He originally started as an animal that just became so powerful and killed so many uh, creatures because you know how I talked about my setting before. It was really heavily mm -hmm. elemental based. And just the ichor for that was yeah. left over from animals, what created gods. He was an animal who did that, who um, helped take out uh, take out one of the primordials, and just got washed into ichor and ascended, and actually became more human like instead of animal like. I really like that. Yeah, the idea. Because it's like this this legend that would get told and retold and then misconstrued, and it's just yeah, it was a wolf that turned into a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my I had him as a I lion first. Just I love lions and their technical king of beasts. So, but he just kind of became an amalgamation of uh, multiple animals as he got um, as he got more powerful. Yeah, king of the beast. Yeah. Of the beast. And I'm gonna go shut off the TV really quick. It's playing the Kill Bill trailer. <laughs> I thought Sorry, I heard like, something. Oh, about the yeah, 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 yeah. No, that was just like what? <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, Mario, how do you do in your setting? Do you have an idea for that or? So, yes, actually, um, there is a thing that I've been doing. It's it's funny because if, if a player fucking watches this, then they they learn some secret lore. But uh, fucking uh, basically, there um, was an idea. It, it all kind of spawned off of like an idea that I had of like how I do deities in my setting, mm -hmm. and the idea of just like deities aren't really like already there. They kind of just form off of like people's own ideas mm -hmm. so it's just a thing of like they believe in something so it ends up coming true and uh basically the idea would be a long time ago somebody was able to figure out how to manipulate this like basically like spread false ideas and kind of split somebody on the religion of their of the setting and this was spawned off of the idea of there's some lore for Baphomet because I fucking love Minotaur and I love throwing Baphomet in my games. Um, Wait, Baphomet? As in Prince of Beasts, like the demon. Uh, the, like, he's a Minotaur oh, uh, prince in uh, Out of the Abyss. Is, oh. is that not the Silver Dragon God? You're thinking of Bahamut. No, Bahamut. you're thinking of Bahamut. Bahamut. Oh. <laughs> very, very similar sounding yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, their but names are way too, too similar. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, I think it's Baphomet. And yeah, Bahamut. Baf Baphomet and Bahamut. Yeah, Baham Bahamut. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not it's, saying that, but and I'm not then the Bahamas. That's Bahamas. Bahama. An assembly of different gods. Exactly. But uh, there's like some early lore, or I think it's in 5e too, where it's like for Baphomet, there's like a thing of just like, uh, oh, the Baphomet was a man who you once decided to treat the god like cattle, so they cursed him and made him... Uh, look like a like a cow or something like that and it is basically the idea would be like he was like the first minotaur becomes this big demon lord and uh fucking uh ends up like spawning minotaur but mm. uh it's this thing of my idea was one of the like he is associated with beasts he creates monsters he's like a scientist in the uh, yeah and uh, uh i love a lot of the lore with him so my thought was I like kind of questioning the idea of like, what the fuck does it mean to treat the, the gods like cattle? The idea was maybe when he was like still a guy, like before he became like a demon lord, mm -hmm. he uh, started to basically fuck with people's perceptions of gods by like, in my setting, the idea was just like, oh, gods spawn from people's beliefs and it kind of makes a god happen. So he starts to kind of spread around, like he, he gets some notoriety. Like, beliefs. Yeah, he starts like kind of fucking with those beliefs and splitting people on religions. And like okay. one of them would be like, oh, they're like prominent deities that are set up in my setting or like a sun and moon, moon deity. And the idea would be like, maybe he ends up causing like, like 
as a product of this flashing way forward into the future, there are like druids out there that like have like still believe in a moon deity, but their ideas of it are way different and they're basically lycanthropes. And uh, the idea would just be like, this is just Baphomet's like way that he's like wormed himself in because it's just like, oh, the lycanthropes are really a product of him hmm. um, rather hmm. than it being like uh, from this deity. But they now like worship this new deity and thus fracturing and taking power away from the original moon deity. And yeah, that's uh, really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, the finish mine, mine was more like just he went off, he uh, sired a few kids and just like it became... A genetic thing of just like that um uh, just that beast blood just like uh in um in bloodlines just slowly started spreading and kind of manifested itself as a curse as he became more corrupt and prideful over time because he's um lycanthropy and like kind of the de uh, deity of pride in my setting where he just be uh, <laughs> after becoming the king of beast and started seeing himself as the uh... king of man it's just um he slowly became more tainted overall as he saw himself less and less of what he used to be like a lion Kaido kind of situation, just lording over all. Uh, yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 a little bit. Now, uh, ha um, so he just kind of lets things go and just uh, with uh, things kind of spawn out of control and lycanthropes just start sh uh, showing up and just have loose ideas of what he was and just um, uh, just trying to like do these horrible acts to like get more powerful to impress him. Mm. Um, so that was kind of the I idea I had for him. Oh, yeah. No, just off the cuff. Like, if I were to try and create some progenitor werewolf, I think it would be a, like, sycophantic caster who is recognizing that may maybe it was, like, an old druid who was doing a lot of research on genetics and gene splicing, like, um, beans and stuff. And in order to succeed in all of his experimentation, he wanted as many samples as possible. He's like, okay, everyone mm -hmm. has to, like, I need 100 experiment, uh, what's the word, subjects. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he, yeah, yeah. it like, it, in creating this sort of thing that wasn't maybe meant to be an ailment, he creates something viral. He imbues, like, mammalian genes with uh, a virus, something that clings onto genes, like the Spider-Man thing. And yeah, yeah. Um, in order to research this thing, uh, he would just implant it in a bunch of people and say, go, <laughs> just go infect people. Don't kill anyone. Just infect them. Uh -huh. And then at a certain point, that infection would come back to him. All of his research is lost and it's just out there. Hmm. He nice. just, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Cause I always, cause yeah. it's, it's, you know, sweet, short, mundane. And it's like, yeah, cool. stuff like that just happens all the time. That's why we have cancer now. It's, yeah. uh, I think it's a hundred billion dollar annual industry that pretty much exists, I think, because of nuclear testing. Woo! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> yeah, because... Woo! Woo! <laughs> Reality! Let's go, baby! Let's go! But, yeah, because I know me, my idea was just kind of like, um, guy just wants to become powerful, accidentally creates super rabies. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah so... Like, uh... I, kind of same I like thing. The, I really like your idea, Mario, though, of just like that whole influence idea. That's really yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Just manipulating yeah. the gods. Yeah, it yeah. Remind, your story reminded me of Sisyphus because I was like, oh, that guy mm. played with the gods. He mocked them. And yeah, he, yeah, tra he trapped Thanatos, the god of death, uh, in his own okay. chains and was like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm like, you mean, you mean yeah. the guy from the Boulder meme? The Boulder meme guy, Boulder. yeah. That's it's, I like or or Prometheus, but he was a god. I like the idea of it, it's literally spawned off of just me being really stupid and just having like this dumb fixation on like God. I think Minotaur are cool. <laughs> I wanted yeah, to like awesome. throw stuff into into a setting because I I like Baphomet a ton and okay. just really thinking on like some of the stuff that's left there and playing with it. And I, I I just like the idea of like this one guy this one guy by himself decided. Man, you know what? Fuck the gods. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, and he, it actually worked. And he, I'm gonna like, gaslight y'all so hard. And there's like a, like a sadness to it too, where it's like in his own revenge, it's like he's lost. Like he, the, the guy is gone. Like whatever he is now, that's mm -hmm. not what he was before. He's now this like twisted fucking thing of like he, he is now Baphomet, like the demon lord. He's, he's like a, 
whatever yeah. sense of his original self that was there, it's like deep, deep down in there. That's um, really cool, man. Yeah. That that, that, is, that uh, is kind of deep, actually. Yeah, I was gonna segue off of that, or not continue that thought, but um, that ego and that confidence, that self assurance, reminded me of a quote that I heard. And I was trying to remember what, like what movie or what show it was from or what anime. And now I was like, ooh, I cringed visibly because it was a real life serial killer. Who <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I uh they asked him like what he regretted the most or if he regretted anything. And uh, my partner and I were talking about this, and he was like, There was this one time I told a guy to pray, and if his God could stop me, then uh I would die. And if it couldn't then i was above god <laughs> and it the guy <laughs> he, st- he lived yeah it's like uh, uh. so to have someone proclaim like i don't like these things i don't care about them they should try to stop me and yeah if they uh-huh. can't it's like well shit you kind of do have some power over them whatever that vein is and it's like it, it's it's like a it's like I, I I don't know in that in that moment of like ha I win and it's like oh fuck I win <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't really want to win I wanted to be proven oh. wrong that's what this yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's awful God that's wild mm. yeah sorry <laughs> but no no I, I, no no it's good I mean, I mean we're, talk, thing, we're talking about lycanthropes well, inherently kind of a dark <laughs> subject that everyone just likes to have a little fun silliness with mm-hmm. well I was gonna say it kind of like loops back in like also with. Uh, I guess the the original idea of like lycanthropes with fucking um, you know that loss of self kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, oh, like, yeah, I was thinking it really kind of reminded of... me of that idea that really gets lost in Wind- uh, Wendigo lore is the fact that it's an actual spirit that possesses someone. Like you, yeah. do the it's act an and and it opens it up for the spirit yeah. to possess you and completely corrupt you beyond what you even were. That's what spiritual layer of it being like abstract and not connected to our base experience is what makes it so horrifying yeah and people love to toy with that yeah i really want to mess with that more now an actual spirit of lycanthropy like being Mm -hmm. of something that really is an aspect of it yeah it's not about the body (laughs) uh there was a group of them i don't remember yeah, I'd like if you want to remove if you want to remove the werewolf curse, like literally, there's a point where it's like, oh, uh, you literally will remove the spirit out, and like a big wolf comes out, and you got to kill it and fight it. Really? And it's like, yeah, that protects you. For, uh, that like removes the lycanthropy from you. That hmm. uh, by fighting your spiritual self. Yeah, that you fight the, awesome. the like Persona basically because it was like this thing of uh, they didn't want to go to the afterlife of uh, the of, hunting uh, ground. Yeah, I was just looking into that, which is funny because they were created by the god of the hunting grounds. Yes, yes. So it's like were. this punish, this godly punishment of like, you don't want to go to heaven, go to hell. <laughs> Here, yeah, yeah. Like, here's well, this. Like, <laughs> there's a thing to it too, where it's like there are some of them that look forward to that. It's like, oh yeah, I want to go to the eternal hunting ground. Yeah. I want to hunt forever. Well, but there's other ones where it's like, no, I want to go to heaven, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like you don't want to hunt forever. You're going to. Yeah. Because it, like, <laughs> it was like, a, I think the original guy of the group was just like, dude, I just want to go see like my old friends and like mm. go in Sovereign Guard and shit like that. But I, I can't because of her scene. And Jeez. it's just like, oh, well, dude, we got to remove the curse. And it like basically saved him. And you, yeah, I think you I get like, like a spirit. Line. Like, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really cool idea. It's giving me a lot to think about, actually. Yeah, yeah. there's that. Well, it, that's the. That's the fun thing. I don't know. I, I that's the nice thing with D and D is like uh, there, there's no rules to this. I used to I used to fucking make like a a joke with some people because I remember I loved to Discord hop and back in the day and I would hop in like, uh, well Logan's and Jacob's communities a lot and just yeah. talk to random people mm-hmm. <laughs> and like a thing that I would tell people is just like it's not like Mister D and D himself is gonna come into your house and beat your ass for like doing something different. Yeah. It's like uh, hold on, Jacob actually did that to me once. It was pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I yeah. yeah, he told me about that. That was actually me. Um, that was me and like, that was, <laughs> that was me and Mr. Dean. Y'all just hired goons from Jacob to silence me. 
Oh my god. <laughs> um, you just come into my really... house in dusters and old uh, fedoras, just like we're here to mess you up for the most. <laughs> where's your, where's the nearest lead pipe? <laughs> Oh, they're everywhere in my when, house. I have a lead pipe collection. Right, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm rough Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm little Johnny. I'm not so rough, but I'll still give you a black I'm eye. I'm not so rough, but I got a little knife and I'm going to stab you. <laughs> I'm going to stab you. twice in your leg, I'll make sure you can recover within two weeks, but it'll hurt. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys you really don't have to do that. Right. My internet connection's terrible. You just got to like unplug the router and take a week to recover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna unplug your router and I'm gonna I'm gonna change your passwords on your computer. I'm gonna, cut, <laughs> I'm gonna cut your phone lines, but I'll leave my cell phone somewhere in your house for you to find. What? Why would you? <laughs> He's do like that? A, a nice <laughs> burglar, but not nice enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna text you and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna ask you if you're all right afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like you just hear at your front door like a loud knock, and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna break in and probably bust up your kneecaps. You can leave in the next five <laughs> seconds if you want. Otherwise, it's on you." <laughs> like whoa, what? The okay, <laughs> I'm just looping back to like y'all run away. I just crawl my way. I find a phone you left to call nine one one and just see your password protected. I'm like, oh god, dang it. it's okay. I pre dialed nine one one. The code is eight zero zero eight. I thank you, and I call off, and I'm just like, you're not gonna believe me, but two nineteen thirties thugs came and beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, it's funny that Gary Gygax and the you know Mister D and D's themselves, they didn't yeah. care about the lore. The first no, thing they, they wanted, fuck. no, it was just like, okay, what are the numbers? Give me the numbers, uh -huh. and then they like had graphs and grids, and it it was more about like, can we kill that thing? Yeah. Then where did that thing come from? It was truly the mathematicians. <laughs> I love I love the thought process of can I kill it? Okay, well, where's it from? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened with some of them. Yeah, it was like the mathematician's dream, and then like it got hijacked by the other nerds, the theater kids along the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, here we it, are. That is the writer's uh, room, stage. That three. is a funny thing. Let's go. Think, uh, Late stage I writer's think, room. Yeah. I think about like the older idea of D and D, and like how it's kind of. A, grown into story being more of a focus whereas before it's just like yeah i'm just some guy uh but i got to play a paladin so that's pretty cool <laughs> so, yeah. I... yeah yeah that's always fun but all right well that was fun might do this again <laughs> bye <laughs> <laughs>